Hi, I'm Mitch Reed, and thanks for joining me today. I'm going to talk a little bit about just Cajun tuning. Uh, my violin right now is tuned standard, E A D G, like a, a, you would play if you were in an orchestra. Um, to play traditional Cajun music, if you lived down in southwest Louisiana and you were to go to a jam session, you would find out really quickly that most of the fiddle players down here are tuned, what we call tuned down. And uh, so what, ha what we do is everything goes down a whole step. So uh, the E string becomes a D, the G becomes an A, I'm sorry, <laughs> the A becomes a G, and the D becomes a C, and the G becomes an F. And uh, that's just what we call Cajun tuning or tune down. And what it does, it gives the fiddle a bluesier sound. It's not as edgy. And it also makes it easier to play with the C accordion, which really is the dominant accordion that is used in Cajun music now. So by tuning your fiddle down to, um, especially like your D down to the C string, now you have an open C string that can be a continuous drone. And that's where we get that style. And the traditional style of Cajun fiddling, if you were to look at it, you're playing the melody on one string and you're rocking your bow a little bit to catch the next string over, an open string. And then you bow the two strings together and it sounds like two fiddles playing. A lot of Cajun fiddle tunes, you're really only um, you're really only playing two strings, but it sounds like a bunch of strings. And you can add some other strings if you want to to give it some extra decoration. But that's that's really the backbone of Cajun music is you're playing the melody on one string, catching the next string as just a drone, almost like a bagpipe. And by tuning our fiddles down to Cajun tuning, we can have a drone string that's in the key of C which makes it a lot easier for us to play with a C accordion. Whereas if you have a standard tuned violin, E-A-D-G, to get that, those C chords, you have to use uh, double stops. You have to use a lot of fingers to hold down some strings. And it just makes it a little bit more complicated. It's not impossible. And there's some great fiddlers, great Cajun fiddlers down here that never tune their fiddles down, that always just leave them standard and they can play in almost any key. Um, the old traditional guys that I learned from, the more traditional guys, Cajun and Creole, they would always tune their fiddles to whatever key they were playing in. They, they found that note and tuned an open string to it. Um, even um, some of the Zotico fiddle players that I learned from would tune their fiddles all the way down to B flat because they used the B flat accordion in Zotico so that the saxophones and the horns can play along. Um, so yeah, just a little information about Cajun tuning. Um, if you go to my website, MitchReedMusicLessons.com um, and you become a member or just want to even check it out uh, and even just listen to some of the vlogs that I do, um, you'll notice that my fiddle is tuned down to Cajun tuning. So not that big of a deal. Most Cajun fiddlers actually get two violins. They'll get one, they'll leave it tuned standard, and then they'll have another one and they'll tune it down. And they'll get a double fiddle case. So when they travel around or go around, they have their Cajun fiddle and they have their standard fiddle. So um, me personally, I play a lot of different styles. Cajun music and Creole music is my main style, but I play Irish fiddle and I play some old timey fiddle. And so it's nice to have two fiddles uh, where if I want to play with a C accordion, I've got my tuned down fiddle, but if I want to play some Irish tunes or old timey tunes, I have my standard um, fiddle ready. So that's how most fiddle players evolve down here. And um, yeah, so that's just a little bit about, little information about Cajun tuning, what it is. Um, if The other question I get a lot, if you learn a tune, Standard, so say you learn Jolie Blanc uh, on uh, EADG, regular standard violin. When you tune down a Cajun, is the fingering going to change? No, it doesn't. The fingering stays exactly the same, it's just the key changes is all. So pretty simple stuff, and, uh, but it can get a little complicated if, you, if you're not quite sure what a violin is tuned in, if it's an alternate tuning. So a little information about that. 
So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, playing some Cajun tunes. Check it out. Try it out. Um, it gives your violin a different sound. It's a lot of fun, and I'm really, I love alternate tunings. They're a lot of fun, and they make you sound different and play differently. So, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope I gave you some uh, good information you can take with you, and hope to see you out there soon fiddling. Stay inspired, and keep on fiddling. Thank you.